Hello all, I'm currently doing some cooking. This is taking a little while than I expected. I'm just trying to make some pasta at the moment, um, but it's taking a little while to boil. Um, the pasta was a, a nice little gift from my dad. He went up to Scotland for a little weekend away and um, got me this really nice sort of pasta with chorizo and chicken and all this sort of stuff. And um, give me a very nice pasta sauce as well, but the seal on it is so nice. I don't want to break it, but I, I, I don't know if there's a way I can remove it without having to do that. Let me have a look. I'll give it a go. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> hello. Welcome to September. What's going on this month? I don't know. There aren't really plans. Um, summer is usually when the most plans happen. And, you know, I've just had Aiden over for three weeks. Did the TT getaway just before that. It's strange to think that that was July. Um, but it was. <laughs> and we're going into September now. That's what's strange to me is um, it's always exciting leading up to the getaway or, to, or, or an event that you're looking forward to because time just freezes. Oh, after it's over, you forget and it flies along again. I don't know. But um, September's always been a weird one for me. I've never fully been able to switch off of September being associated with my school days because... Um, for me, September for so long of my life was the beginning of something. Like that being the school year or uni or college. And that was all the way, as far as I can remember in my life, obviously not entirely my life. I didn't start school the moment I was born. But like, as far as I can remember back, September was always the beginning of something up until literally the beginning of my adult life, 18. Um, and yeah, ever since then, obviously I've been in continuous work. That's very obvious but um no it, it's just not one for me like september's always been one where I, I need to find a purpose for it like halloween you know i like i've been editing that halloween volume for over to noise for example so that, that there's an occasion to lead up to with that october also has a nice sort of autumnal feel to it that i could kind of settle in knowing the you know, leaves are gonna fall you know you've got jumper weather you know, you've got you, you you're not it's not quite cold enough for having to have winter coats and everything on. But equally, um, you can kind of have a jumper on and you know, it's kind of like cooler, much cooler weather, but not cold. Um, I've went into too much detail about October there, but basically every month in my head, apart from September, seems to have a purpose to something and something I could kind of relate to. September for me was always academic year and a fresh new start for something, new developments, etc. And I've not had that in years, but my brain will not switch it off. I don't know. It's a weird one. But you probably heard I've been making that Halloween volume. Finished that today. No, oh, yesterday, actually. I've been scheduled uploading it just now. Got to make the trailer. And I was going to hopefully script edit something because I'm going off to Birmingham for two days tomorrow. Um, there's a building we're trying to finish and hand over, but the client wasn't happy. So we have to go back and do another quick review of the whole process again over the course of those two days. And then afterwards, I'm back at home from a well, Wednesday night, really. It'll be nice. It'll be easy. Um, don't get me wrong. It is annoying. <laughs> but um, we'll get there. We will get there. Um, in terms of other stuff this month, we've got... Um, Henry Woodman into the storybook would have started coming out on the 31st and then we've got episodes 2, 3 and 4 left the 5th episode is coming out on New Year's Day I keep saying that, I know a lot of people know that, I know there are just some who sometimes go a bit like, I don't understand <laughs> by the time that this episode comes out, I think it will be finished anyway, so you'll see how um, what's coming out after that? I think it, after that is the Halloween volume actually um, so yeah um, what else am I thinking of? We've got the November volume um, half recorded. We're just waiting on a couple of other people. And then um, after that, uh, we've got the Christmas or the December volume, which is the second part of Tortured Clandestine. And we're very close to that now. We've got half of it um, currently in editing and the other half needs to start editing. But it is all recorded. It is all there. And we've got a bit of time. So yeah, and then afterwards, I'm I'm also trying to script edit something for January. So there's a lot going on, 
but I, I'm way too busy for this stuff anymore. I don't know how I'm keeping up, but I am nonetheless. So anyway, I'm going to go and make this pasta because I think it is now just starting to boil. So that's why I've got to pay attention to this because it's all getting all like bubbly and foamy. So yeah, anyway, see you later. I'm in the hotel in Birmingham. I'm shattered. I've been kind of distracted. <sighs> I'm just... I've got about two hours sleep because I'm get some sleep. Well, now, really, I'm a very, very tired old chatters. So I'm going to do that now. It's my little uh, side light there. Mm. And then I've uh, left the bathroom light on, if you got that. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to bed. Then the first day on site, very tiring and boring, really. But nonetheless, I've done it. So yeah. Anyway. Ah. So I'm on site doing some fire door checks. And I just walked into this apartment to find something a bit interesting. <laughs> what is going on here? There is a little part of me that is... <clears throat> Looking forward to the winter. I've had a lot of heat this summer and spending that cold air, right? Just the cold air, the rain, the smell of the water, or the rain, the water, the rainwater on the earth giving off that sort of petrichor smell. It's very nice. I have missed it in all fairness. Um, and I do miss my hoodies, <laughs> I won't lie. But um, yeah, we're about half. We're almost. We're almost halfway through September now, actually, which is uh, quite fun. Um, I spent a lot of time at home uh, this month. Things, you know, the summer. We've kind of got through the worst of those times I talked about for work, and we're now just kind of spending time uh, trying to catch up on some work things. So yeah, I've got a lot of editing done as well. We've got nearly the entire volume for November finished in about a week, and I don't know how we did that. And then I've also got the New Year's Day special done, for which is the fifth episode of Henry Woodman into the storybook. Um, and then I'll be working on getting the last bits of Torchwood done. Ooh. Which is uh, another thing in itself. You'll probably hear the stories. <laughs> but yeah, I've spent a lot of time at home recently, and I've been able to catch up on a lot. Um, so I'm really chuffed that I've been able to do that because the last few months have been very tough for me to be able to do anything I'd like to do outside of work. So, yeah, it's all been good, though. It's all been good. So, long time to speak, but I'm on the train heading up to Birmingham. I keep talking about how I'm going up to Birmingham a lot, but I never actually talk about it, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. Um... I think that's it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the vlog, I'm stretching. So, this is the end of the vlog, if that wasn't abundantly clear. Um, so, uh, I got a lot of productive stuff done this month, and I can't recall much of it. It's been a bit of a weird, loopy month. We had a couple of jobs finish, um, we've got had a couple kickstart a bit. They'd been going on for about nearly two years, but uh, really kind of slowly and progressively and now all of a sudden they're like go 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 so it's all it's all going well um and in terms of editing wise i've been working on torchwood for december and then also looking at some 2025 releases which has also been a bit crazy the podcast went out today and tomorrow the trailer for doctor who monsters and villains goes out and that'll be that <laughs> 
And um, yeah, really, it's um, all going well. It's all going well, as I would say. Um, next month um, is um, Abby's birthday. Uh, there'll probably be a birthday weekend type thing going on, um, which I'll vlog. Um, yeah, apart from that, I'll just be carrying on with work. Well, what's interesting is, um, what's really interesting is that where we're planning to go for um, her birthday is actually my hometown. <laughs> um, we went to Hastings last year. Um, this year, we're just going to my hometown. And um, the reason um, for that is because we're also doing a little bit of filming for her Torchwood series during that time. And yeah, um, I am gonna find it interesting because I haven't been to my hometown properly since the beginning of these monthly vlogs. And, well, since I started making them monthly anyway. Um, and that's January 2015, maybe. Maybe maybe a push March. But nonetheless, I'm going to be potentially be standing outside my old family home. And I just thought, what a weird way that this vlog is coming to an end. That I've ended up in front of where the monthly vlog started nearly 10 years ago. So, that'll be an interesting one. A bit of a nostalgia trip for people. So, yeah. Anyway, enjoy next month, um, and I will uh, well, I'll see you next month for the, uh, the final, th the beginning of the final three episodes of the vlog, which is quite crazy. But anyway, see you later.